Hello everybody, this is Techno Paladin. Welcome back to some Dyson Sphere program. Uh, so in our last episode, we were starting to finish off this uh, this planet. We got some of the uh, resource generation done, and I decided to go ahead and put, start putting down some of the uh, construction. So we put down some of the diamond using up the cabalite, kimberlite, or whatever however you pronounce it. Um, we also went ahead and started putting down some more. Uh, construction for our up to the green uh, stuff here. We are going to start making blue soon. Um, just trying to get some of this stuff here because we are going to need a bunch of green um, for making the blue. So it doesn't hurt to have extra so we can just import it instead of having to make it on hand. So uh, and then to use up some of the material here on this planet because I don't want to export every raw material um, off this planet uh, I've added an additional glass uh, here so that way we have two glasses uh, we have and I went ahead and took some of the iron since we don't have a whole lot of iron we don't have a whole lot of copper and I decided just to make magnets out of it um, so we'll ship out magnets off this planet uh, I figure that would be wouldn't be too bad now, since we do have uh, a ton of stone on this planet, I'm thinking we're going to export glass and potentially uh, the prisms. So we do have a blueprint for prisms, so I'm just going to use that because um, the prisms we're going to need a lot of uh, different things for with to use with the prisms. So I figure we'll just go ahead and get. Uh, a couple of these built and uh, we can then have you know these being exported now while uh, while we were away as well I actually managed to have some research finish that increased the capacity of our towers so that kind of uh, helped a good bit with some things uh, mainly mainly in the uh, well, capacity department so as soon as that happened it like caused the whole planet to go crazy we had all kinds of stuff going on because it just started producing shipping and everything so I mean some of my other planets I'm sure went super nuts um, would have been pretty neat to watch if we could have seen it on one of the other planets but you know so let's see why is that saying no power? That's like right in the middle. Weird. Alright. There, we'll get you an extra power. Okay, so this... Now this is another one of the blueprints that I'm definitely going to be doing, but we're going to redo every blueprint. Um for what I'll start calling our end game builds. Uh, these kind of just get us through the main main setup here. So Now we also have a lot of this optical grading crystal which I think we're just going to export directly um, because it is used to make uh, this photon combiner but I don't want to be making uh, I don't know if I have enough iron and copper here to make those chips. Um, we might, but then uh, let's see, because we have well, we have one million iron, 1.5 copper, and we are importing copper as well. Um, oh, the other thing that I did in between is I went ahead and set up a second shell. So we have our Dyson sphere going. So we'll have two two shells. We have this inner shell and then this outer shell. Uh, so it's being fabricated as we speak. Um, so we do have some iron, copper, silicone. Let's see, what else do we have here? So we have iron, copper there. So we can, well, we can go ahead and just, we can potentially do some stuff here with this optical grading crystal on this planet to maybe start making these eh, photon combiners. 
So we can make it with prisms, but we can also make it with this optical grading crystal. And then let's see, what else can we make? We can make these casimir crystals, which are needed for that, which are needed for quantum CPUs, which we need a lot of as well. Um, what's this used for again? Solar sails. So yeah, we need that too. So, yeah, so it's kind of a mixed bag. You know, we can use it for that. Um, but we also have tons of these diamonds, these type, you know, so I'm not too worried about the casimir crystals, but we can make a bunch of these. So I guess if we're going to do that, then we'll need some iron plate, but um, I might need to go ahead and set up another tower. Let's see, so we have copper plate. Let's just move that out of the way. This is just shipping out the grading crystal. And then diamond and proliferation. So we have, we also have fire ice. Let's see, on this planet we have fire ice. So we're using up the kimberlite. We're just going to use that to produce diamonds to ship. So we're not going to ship this out from here. Fire ice we can go ahead and maybe consume as well. The grading crystal we're going to ship just because we we have it. Um, so let's see, titanium, we're shipping out titanium plates. Uh, and then stone, we're going to ship out glass and prisms. So let's see, let's not put two things in there. Let's set this to prisms. And we not did this not get full? Because it doesn't look like anything shipping, so that's weird. All right, well. I mean, it didn't look like anything was shipping, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay. That could just be that it, we, we refilled the, the tower already. Um, so it could be shipping. So, yeah, yeah, I guess it is. There's a 9, 10. So something's uh, being shipped anyway. So the center tower, yeah, that's resources. This And then this tower is our product for making stuff. So... Uh, I might go ahead and make an additional tower here. Might just do it up here at the top. Because then we can bring in uh, some stuff here. Because we do need to ship out like the silicon plate. Um, let's see. Did I actually make a silicon plate? So that's glass. Copper plate. Uh, I did. I don't remember if I saw it on our tower though. It's like the fun part, trying to keep track of everything. Okay, let's just put it here. Okay. The goal is that we want to get to the point where we can just import stuff so we don't have to always do resources from scratch. Uh, so like the last construction planet, we had to kind of build up all this infrastructure. Um, that's kind of what we're trying to avoid if we can. So we need to put down some stuff for making circuits, um, which well, we do have, see, we're going to need iron plate. Let's go ahead and drop that down, kind of right here. <laughs> I keep wanting to hit Q instead of the right click. I'm playing too much Factorio. <laughs> Alright, so that'll get us the iron plate. 
And then we also need to go ahead and make circuit boards. So we just come over here. Sure. All right, so that'll get us through some of these here. So we're gonna have to design the next one because, well, we don't have, uh, we don't have one because we've never built one using optical grading crystals. So while this is being built, let's take a look at this really quick. So every three seconds, it's going to build one unit and it needs one and one. So we don't really need any stacking. So that's even better than the old one, which was a two to one. So if every three seconds is one and we get that, we should be able to get a, quite a few of these on, on here. Like I said, I, I don't tend to to do the whole ratio ratio thing just because well it's math and you know the way I look at it as long as it's producing what I need and we're not you know over so I don't want to have uh, you know like a stack of assemblers or something on the end that aren't doing anything ever um, I'd rather have a little too few to where it's just the lines are just always full then not enough or it's just I'd rather have not enough than too many there we go that's the, that's a better way to put it okay so that's uh that should start going here shortly once we start getting some the plate coming all right Okay, every now and then I see that we have an issue where the blueprint puts down and it just messes up that last one there, so. Okay, next. For some photon combiner using optical grading crystals. So let's go ahead and grab this here. Let's say right there. Now, the one thing is, is that since this is getting closer to the late game, I don't need to use as many of these stackers. Um, so I have these uh, logistics. Uh, let's see, which one is it? It's uh, if we come down here and to our stuff here, it's this this uh, integrated stacking. So this one here we need to get, um, which will get us. This now puts out four stacks instead of the two. So it's like having uh, one of the stackers in place already. This one will get us to six. This should get us to the eight. So then we won't need those pilers anymore. Um, so we are, we do have this up here in research for number 10. We need 11 and then we can research this next one. So I'm going to start building with uh, where I can. I'm going to start building without these pilers. So we just need the proliferation. And since this guy here is just going to be a, a basic guy, we're going to say, okay, we're going to have this as the output. And then we need a circuit board and optical grading crystals as the input, right? And then this is a one to one to one every three seconds. So let's just, uh, let's shoot for... I'll just say 3,000. And then this would be good about there. It's going to put your drones in there. All right, now, uh, the fun part. So now because we are going to be doing some of the, some of the builds similar to what we've done on the others, you know, we still need some of this stuff here, so... Uh, tap tab. Let's do that for our proliferation. And then we need to have our nice little 
wrap around because of the whole we can't build right next to the bottom which I hope they fix in the future so then let's just uh, set that up there and then let's get our first unit let's just say let's back it off just a touch So I'm okay having some gap because we do need to put some stuff here. So let's uh, see here. All right, let's uh, clean up. Do, 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 do. So let's just go right there. Okay. And then I can scoot this after it auto saves. We can scoot that just a little closer. And then I am trying to get to the point where I can start making the level three of these too. So that's going to start changing our builds yet again. Let's do that one and two. And then what we're going to do again, well, the, since this is a two input, two output, we don't need to do um, the, the shifting so that way we can kind of get more on one plate. So that's good. So we can do one in, one in, one in, one in. And that's our out. Okay. Tab. And that's our out. Okay, well that's going to be roughly it. So let's uh, tell it what it's making. Put the alternate recipe in here. Okay, now we need some supplies. And we got 300. Okay, we got good there. So let's go ahead and get that out, which would be that. There you go there. That out and go there. So, and when we're in here, you'll see we have this output cargo stack count. You can control it. So I have it set to use the tech limit, which is means as soon as we research the next one, it'll just increase how much is coming out. Um, so we can actually plan to have this be a little over done if I wanted to, because as we get more stacks, then that means it'll be able to support more. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind if you're planning for future. So let me just uh, throw a bunch out here. Looks like it's on this line here. And one away. Okay, let's get these all built. And then let's see. Alright, so now. Oops, nope. Shift click and do 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 do. That's 16 total. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. Alright, 16. So I figure we want to do probably about 20. Kind of gives us a good little starter. Starter makes it 20. Four. And one. And four. Okay, so 
now we can go ahead and clean this up. to start and then we can build the other side. Now when, one of the things that we can do that I might do with some of these feature builds with this is uh, oh, I need to get the uh, proliferation. Especially these ones that only need the two inputs um, is actually utilize a couple of these extras um, and come out here to have even more um, chains to make it wider as well as long so that way we can get uh, even more production out of a single tower but at the same time there is kind of a, a limit to what a tower can provide just because well it can only hold so many resources left you know so you know having multiple towers can create a buffer but it's not going to uh, give you everything you know just because you know you got you got to get stuff situated so now one of the th well hold on I'll get my thoughts clear here in a second. Let me just, uh, I'm gonna do the, the, oh wait, no oh, wait, hold on. That's too big. I need to make sure it's just that. And then the bottom power. And use now. And that should paste. So there we go. So that's a quick way, especially when it's a, a nice mirror. I can just kind of plop this down like that. Kind of like a partial blueprint. It does make this go a little faster, which is nice. So all we have to do now is hook up this, uh, hook this all up, and we should be good to go. So let's do that to there and then this is going to be deleted and then we just got to get our inputs here so because uh, and basically kind of if you think about what or what I'm thinking about here so like here we have these inputs and outputs you know we have room for f you know basically four more leads coming off of here because we have some room on the back and if we use those we could potentially get even more being constructed um, but where I was kind of going with the whole buffer thing is so you know the tower here and this is why I built you know more than one of these towers so is that you know we have let me get it power you know, this thing will hold 6,000 units. We're letting it max out, you know, so when we have our export tower, uh, you know, it only has now, well, it's up to 11,000 or 12,000 now, but uh, so it can take two tower loads. So if we have it shipping and we're using all of it, then, well, it can, you know, crank through them pretty quick. So what we're really looking through is kind of, or looking for is our, throughput versus capacity um, so because if this guy here if I can make it make you know let's just say it's making uh, what's what's this uh, 20 40 60 80 and that's every three seconds it's generating so divide that by three so let's just roughly say you know 20 let's just say this is making 20 a second so that means that this here is going to uh, 
Okay, these are making, so why is it not filling? Uh, did I? That's the optical grading crystal. Right? Wait, what? What? Hold on. How did I screw that up? Um, that should be that. What in the world happened here? This one, let's see, that side's right. And why is it not? Why is this not uh, doing its thing here? Wait, why is it going the wrong way? figure out what's this doing here what if I do a flip let it empty okay and then change uh, let's just disconnect it flip and okay let's see if this starts working okay well that was a little boo-boo but now it looks like it's working okay so where was I going with that before our mess up? Uh, yeah, capacity. So if this is making 20 per second, yeah, you can see this is filling up fairly quickly, right? It's not too bad. But if we're shipping it out, it's going to ship out in thousand chunks. It's going to go pretty quick. So having more of these, if we can have, if we have the capacity to have more of these, is better than having one that can go fill this a little faster. Because um, we are talking probably incremental, I would say. At least this is all my opinion, anyway. Because, I mean, we have this going all the way down here. We have, you know, and we can see that, you know, the stacks are ending. So I could make this longer, even. But at some point, we have to say, okay, well, what's the max length? I mean, you see some of these are really long, so if we get into a planet where we have a bunch of resources in the way, it gets to a point where it's like, okay, now I can't place this blueprint. So what we want to do is have blueprints that we can fit. So I'd rather have that than, say, a perfectly uh, allocated one. So now, this is 20, so this is 20 across... So if it's every three seconds, this is 80. Could, we could probably make more. We could probably make it a little bigger. 
Um, see, this is probably about the same 20, 40, 80. Let me see, what do we have in our blueprint stack? Let's just take a peek. Because we have this one here. This one has 120 on it. Uh, so we could, I mean, we could make this one a little bigger. Because the capacity is there. So maybe do... So for a 20, what if I did 24 each? I don't know if I, I don't know how big I want to go out with this. Let's see. Because 120 should be a stack of 30. We're at 20, so that'd be another 10. So that'd be another block like that long. That seems like an awfully awfully much so let's see if I compare this to here that's almost the same width as our iron so if I had backed this off just a touch I mean, I could probably put two more if I wanted to keep it, or one more, if I wanted to have it maybe a comparable size. That might be a little better, you know, aesthetic-wise. So let's just come out here, like one. I think that should be good for one. So uh, get this down. Okay. And yeah, that's okay to have just a one or two uh, squares of excess material. That's fine. Come on, connect. There we go. And then we'll turn this into a blueprint. And then we need to get some more towers set up and then set up, uh, this is an export. So let's go create this. This is going to be an alternative recipe blueprint. So, and so this is a uh, super photon combiner alt. So let's make sure we choose the recipe of this guy, so we know. And save, and then use. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop another one down. Because I think we can get two of these supported with what we got. some extras which we need to go up to the tower anyway so we'll take care of that here in a second so yeah so this here I might just let it build out as many as it can so that way it supports it good So with that, I mean, that should give us the usage of our iron and copper on this planet pretty well. And then that also uses up the optical grading crystal. We can ship it out as well. But uh, we can just use this here. So now those two towers has enough to f refill an entire 
logistics tower. And that's where I was kind of going with the, well, we have capacity versus throughput as well. So you, if we have this having all these towers, it's like, okay, how do we do that? You know, keep it up to date. Cause if we have, uh, I need to grab a couple. Oh, I'm running low. And that's one thing. I don't know if I have shipping anywhere, so I might have to go find where I'm building them. Uh, so yeah, so if we have these kind of set up, then let's see, how close can I put this? So let's do that. This is going to do, uh, these guys. Let's get you your drones. And then let's look, hook up our warpers here. And I know these things are pain with the power because they don't really care for those, but so let's just do that. Okay, so that gives us our uh, photon combiner being shipped out. So that'll get us, make it a lot easier for to build sails later since that needs that. And so we can make some with our fire ice here since we do have fire ice on this planet. Um, so we could potentially um, use that and then make some deuterium. Uh, let's see. and then just ship out the graphene. How much fire ice did we have? Eh, one million. So it can, it can support like one, like probably one, uh, one setup here. So let's just come, let's come around this way a little bit. All right, Cause it looks like we had kind of like a cluster of this stuff here. So let's do, where ours are fire ice. Yeah, see now we have a cluster of all these guys in the way. All right, uh, rotate, rotate, let's just do that and then Uh, just tell it to go ahead and let's get some more stuff here do that do, do. and then Let's, uh, I'm just going to reset that to zero so we can just take some here. Let's just set that down because I think we're getting close to being done here. Okay. And I did put some in there. So yeah, so okay. Yeah, let's get this put down. Oh, and I still haven't fixed this blueprint, dang it. That's okay, like I said, we're gonna be rebuilding all of this. Shortly. Especially these chemical ones, because they're a pain in the butt. Hmm. 
this chemical ones are the ones where I might decide to go wider versus the longer just because there's such a, a pain here. next planet I might have to go ahead and bring in some power poles so and yeah some of these planets we will export the raw resources on just because it's not worth just setting up they don't have a whole lot so like I think the outer planet has only like a hundred thousand iron so we'll just ship the iron as it is potentially it's just you don't I don't want to turn it into something where I'm like relying on everything so uh, oh when Okay, so uh, since we're going to be turn making hydrogen with this, let's also throw down uh, a process to convert the hydrogen to deuterium, which is not in this folder. Um, this is... Yeah, it's this one here. Okay, do we have... I don't have the particle colliders. Urgh. I got 12. Okay, well, I guess I'll just ship out the hydrogen, maybe. For now. Let's do that. And local demand, remote supply. Let's do that. Okay. Not perfect. But that should get us most of our process here. I could ship out stone as well, just because we have so much of it. Um, but I'd much rather ship out glass. So, glass and prisms directly. Of course, we could make some stone block too. Do I actually have a blueprint for that? Um, I do. So we could ship out some stone bricks as well. Um, that might not be a bad idea. But I need, let's see. Uh, okay. Let's get a few of those in there. Well, I have every, I should have everything we need for that. So let's uh, drop that down, and we can do two of these. grab the last of our towers down. Uh, we need a few of these. Need a bunch of those. Need a bunch of those. Alright, and then we'll set up our that's another tower to export stone bricks. And then to see if I, if I only put down one titanium builder and I need to add another I need to check because I like to have two to one if I'm exporting come on fill it in so we get that one full that one's done
Okay. So that should get us our stone. Now let's take a let me take a quick peek here at what we got built. Uh, we have one titanium. Okay, I got one titanium, so I need one more of the crystal plate and one more titanium build. Okay. And then I think we'll be set for this planet. So let's get the titanium. Let's just drop that right there. And then let's do another one of these crystal plates. So we have my ratio of two to one. So two constructors to one planetary export tower. And get all of our those. Get another half of those. Get uh, about half of those. And, oh shoot, I'm out of power. Okay. Well, uh, let's take those, drop those there. Uh, let's go ahead and drop those off, drop those off. Take those, drop those. Hmm. Okay, so let's do clear. Let's do power. It'll, it'll just get us a whole set, so we can just grab that in. Okay. So once that gets here, we'll be able to get this done. In the meantime, let's let this build, build, build. And then we'll just make sure we have our export tower set up. And we can go to the next one. And while well, while that's building, here you can see they are. Uh, we're at 3.58 gigawatts. We're at 100% satisfaction, which means we can probably go add some more of our uh, strange matter towers here. Um. And it looks like all of our panels are full. So yeah. Okay, so this, uh, and so now it's just keeping this ring of solar sails going, uh, which is generating extra. So I could actually stop the solar sail production and just leave it with this. And we can pick up all the stuff because that's good. So, yeah. And of course, autosave. It's like autosave our old friend. Uh, let's see, power poles, are they here yet? Nope. We must have to go far away. Speaking of, we might need to drop... Oh, cool. That you just got here. We might need to drop uh, another mall down somewhere. Just to help us with the production of these things. Well, not a mall, but I guess you could say a module builder. That we can then set up for export. I need to build a new version of that that uses planetary cubes or planetary towers to or interstellar towers rather um, so we can just get what we need done done okay so that should give us our 2 to 1 ratio for export and let's uh, I want to set up another tower here what's the uh 
I did it on this line here. Click. Okay, let's do... And get you your drones. Uh, oh, good, we can use up some of the other drones. take them all. So I want to leave this planet behind, so. Alright, now this is going to be stone brick. So we're going to demand remote supply. Alright, so. That gives us quite a few things here. Let's take a look at our output and let's just see if we need to do anything good on power. So iron copper is being used, silicone is being used, stone is being used, coal is brought in, fire ice is being used, kimberlite is being used, grading crystals being used, and irons in support of this planet, copper is in support of, well we're actually exporting copper as well. That's exported, 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 exported. Brought in, exported. Brought in, and exported. Okay, so we should be in good good shape for this planet. Um, if I give this thing some power. So let's come over here to our Uh, no, not that one. Is it this one? Okay, so... Let's just take them all. Clear, clear. And they won't all fit, so I'll just leave them there. Leave those there. Alright, so with that, let's, uh, so I think we're all set for this planet. Resources are being consumed, we're producing some product that we can then start shipping so we can build it on some other planets. Uh, we got a lot of, we got plenty of build room here if we wanted to build more, but we don't need to, so... I think we're going to go into our inner planet here. And I don't think we need to be dropping the solar sails anymore, so... We can get some flight mode, and we can get some... A pretty view here. Speaking of, let's just clear that out and get a nice view. Isn't that pretty? All right, well, let's uh, speed this up. Let's get over here. Because I think with this 100% satisfaction, we should be able to get some more of our strange matter collectors here, which will help us with our throughput. And we could actually go ahead and slap down a few construction stuff here too. Since I don't think I'm going to be building... This is at 6 per minute. I wonder if that's kind of the max it'll do. here let's uh
you know, let's take a look at this guy here. So that's, uh, let's see, did that reduce this? No, okay, so we're still good. Strength's 100%, and then this has just gotta build up. And then let's just see how we doing. We're still at 100%. So we're at three gig. So that's probably about as much as we can get because that's saying it's requesting three gigawatts. We're producing 3.35, roughly. So now let's uh, do this. I'm going to stop this here. I don't really care about the swarm part anymore. So let's just do that. And so that's still doing its thing. Let's uh, reduce the rockets and remote supply. So I change these to supply. Just so that way we can potentially reuse them. And I'll set this the vessel's down to 50%, so that way we can should be able to get them out. Okay, so that should be good. We got copper. We got so here we're just shipping out resources, which I guess we could just leave it as it is. It looks like it's doing fine. Okay, so this will just stop producing these guys here. And then this will just, uh, this will get up to 100%, and then that'll get to 6. And well, that'll keep it running. So what this is telling me is we need more, 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 more. Um, so based on that, I mean, we are pulling down all the power off of this thing. So I need to find a star that has some high illumination, maybe. And we might have to build even bigger shells. I mean, I did this kind of hokey design just because, you know, so you still see the star and, you know, they are rotating at different frequencies, which is nice. So we can definitely get more panels, get more power, and uh, do some stuff. So, but I think we're going to start setting these up in most of our star systems now. I think. So this is, yeah, kind of good to know on how this is going to go. But uh, let's just do supply of that, so that way we can get those back and then I have I have some launchers here so I might just leave these launchers here for now um, I don't really have any inventory space not really um, well let me go put those in uh, the tower over here I, I don't know why I have so many solar sails on me take those and drop those in there uh, let's drop those in there and let's see what else do we got rockets let's drop rockets in there um, I got a bunch of foundations that's fine I guess I don't really need these power anymore. Now that I got the fusion running. Uh, let's see. I can put those here for now. Let's 
So let's uh Oh, they only they fit ten in a stack? Oh. Okay, well, I guess I'll just leave it at that for now, because that's our next planet. Um, yeah, okay. So I think that's good for now. We just need to set up all of our resource gathering on the final planet in the solar system, and I think we should be good. Good to go for this place. Uh, so yeah. That's uh, getting there. So we're starting to get some generation. That's nice, you know. Hopefully it'll keep us going. So, all right. Well, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Got a good hour in, and uh, we'll continue on with Dyson Sphere next time as we harvest the final planet in the solar system and move on to the next and start looking at what we can do to get our blue goo and hopefully what I'm going to start calling our final in-game builds start designing those blueprints so join us back here next time for some more Dyson Sphere programs so like comment subscribe and thanks for watching good night